It's crazy to me that companies aren't even trying to hide the fact that they just don't care anymore. You may have heard recently that the CEO of Better.com laid off 900 people on a Zoom call just before the holidays. If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group being laid off. Your employment here is terminated effective immediately. He later claimed that many of the employees that he let go of in that meeting were working only two hours a day but clocking in eight plus hours. And that they were technically stealing from the company and other employees. Instead of trying to do the right thing, like maybe putting some of those employees on probation and giving out performance evaluations to figure out who actually was working, he just decides to fire 900 people. This is the second time in my career I'm doing this and I do not, do not want to do this. The last time I did it, I cried. This three-minute Zoom call where 900 employees were laid off came after Better.com received $750 million in funding. The market has changed, as you know, and uh, we have to move with it in order to survive so that hopefully we can continue to thrive and deliver on a mission. Which makes me believe that he's just full of and gave some crappy excuse in order to justify his reasoning behind firing so many people just before the holidays. Uh, but ultimately it was my decision and I wanted you to hear from me. Better.com is worth an estimated $8 billion and employs more than 6,500 people. And get this, Forbes magazine recently ranked it number one on its list of best places to work. He's also been known to say outlandish things in the past, calling his employees dumb dolphins and whatnot. You are a bunch of dumb dolphins and dumb dolphins get caught in nets and eaten by sharks. So stop it, stop it, stop it right now. You are embarrassing me. I guess now he's gotta take some time off because he caught so much heat for laying 900 people off in a three minute Zoom call just before receiving $750 million in funding. This time I hope to be stronger. I really hope next time they try to do better. Another example of a company showing you how ruthless they can be is Zillow. Zillow also recently laid off a bunch of people because they thought it was a good idea to buy up a bunch of houses during COVID and now they got too much inventory that they can't move so their best option was to get rid of a quarter of their staff in order to make up for their losses because their house flipping endeavors just didn't go as planned. You may have also heard that John Deere employees were striking for more wages and better benefits and recently Kellogg's employees were on strike as well. The only difference was that John Deere was able to come to an agreement with its employees, but Kellogg's decided to fire the employees that were on strike and tried to hire a bunch of scabs to replace them instead. And one of the reasons why I love the internet so much was that when this happened and Kellogg laid off all those employees who went on strike and tried to hire new people to replace them, thanks to the anti-work subreddit and a TikToker who decided to write a program to flood Kellogg with phony applications, they crashed their sites and Kellogg's was not able to hire all these scabs and replace those employees that they got rid of. And remember to make sure that they feel it in their pockets by boycotting all Kellogg products for the time being until they decide to do the right thing if in fact they ever do. Another example of companies doing the right thing, let's take Tim Cook for example, the CEO of Apple. It was just made public that in 2016, Tim Cook signed a $275 billion deal with China. China is one of Apple's largest markets and apparently Apple was not contributing enough to China's retail market. So Tim Cook sets up this $275 billion deal with China in order to use more components from China suppliers in its devices, sign deals with Chinese software firms, collaborate on technology with Chinese universities, and directly invest in Chinese tech companies. This is the same China that's infamously known for using child labor and is currently performing crimes against humanity with the genocide of the Uyghur Muslims and actively trying to kill democracy in Hong Kong. Thanks a lot, Tim. We really appreciate everything you're doing over at Apple. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's not forget Google too. They're also guilty of a lot of similar things. But one of the things that was recently on the news about Google is that they have no intention or plans on giving any of its employees a raise to match inflation. Workers continue to push back against employers in all sectors fighting for better conditions pay and benefits. Now Google employees are asking if their pay will be scaled up to match inflation. The short answer is no. During an all-hands meeting on Tuesday in video obtained by CNBC, Google's VP of Comp said Google doesn't want to give, quote, smaller increments to everybody, but instead, quote, we want to adjust it and pay it by performance. That's right. Inflation is up about 6.8 percent, and Google, one of the most valued companies in the world, just basically told its employees to go f 
themselves. They're not going to get any more money out of them this year, even though inflation's through the roof. They also said when people were going to go back to the office, they were going to start cutting pay if people didn't work in the high cost of living areas to match the cost of living of the remote employees that decided to go remote. But then again, they also didn't want their employees to go remote unless you were one of their C-level executives. Then they let you work from anywhere. But the rest of the peons had to go back to the office. That was until Delta came around and made everyone stay remote. I wonder if they're going to cut or increase anyone's pay when protocols are lifted and people We'll have to come back to the office this time around. Here's what we'll do. We'll give everyone 1600 bucks, let them stay at home a little while longer, and maybe this whole thing about a raise to match inflation rates will just blow over. We'll go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. How's that for a slice of fried gold? While we're on the topic of bad companies and terrible CEOs, even though Jeff Bezos isn't the CEO of Amazon anymore, it's still pretty tone deaf to post something about your space travel endeavors and your training facility the morning after six people died at one of your Amazon facilities because of a tornado that ripped through there going 155 miles an hour. And while we're on the topic of Amazon and being tone deaf, I can't forget to mention Terry Crews and his awesome Amazon commercial. We're here. I heard Amazon was hiring a bajillion people and thought I'd take a look for myself. Do you have to go with the arrow up? Yeah. The arrow up. So Amazon does pay for tuition? Yep. So what do you think my major should be? Hi, Savannah. Hi, <laughs> Terry. Wait, I get to drive a forklift? Benefits, tuition, and flexible hours. They're hiring everywhere, so check it out for yourself. Terry Crews may be anti-porn, but he's definitely not anti-work. But can we really blame him? All these companies try to be hip and hire celebrities in order to make themselves look better. So I'm not upset with Terry Crews for taking that commercial gig, but I'm definitely a little disappointed. I know I may sound salty in this video and I know that I'm talking about a lot of companies right now. I'm tired of these companies who sit on their high horse claiming that innovation and people come first. They don't care, it's all about the bottom line and they just wanna make money. Actions speak louder than words and once you see the actions that these companies are performing, you'll realize that none of them give it and at the end of the day, all they care about is profits over people. It's the age old tale. Ebenezer Scrooge himself would be extremely proud of how all these CEOs and companies are handling themselves nowadays. Humbug! I think that's all for now. I just wanted to make this video because I spend too much time on the anti-work subreddit and I just keep seeing a lot of these things pop up and I feel like these are things that we need to talk about because we need to keep exposing these companies for what they really are. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any ideas on topics or things that you wanna see me cover similar to this video, make sure you drop it down below in the comments and let me know. If you feel like I left something out and I should have said it, let me know as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.